Hi. So today I want to talk briefly about the notion of incompatible responses and how these particular types of emotions um, may wind up reducing aggression or, or feelings of anger and aggressive behavior uh, because they interfere. You, you can't feel both at the same time. And let me start by talking about some pairings of emotions that are actually very compatible. Um, and one pairing of emotions um, is something we call bittersweet, when you are feeling sad and happy at the same time, which sounds weird. But uh, for those of you who are seniors, or maybe think back to when you graduated from high school, uh, you have this moment on graduation day when you're in your cap and gown and you're with your friends, and you're really, really happy because you're done, yay, you never have to be in this stupid place ever again. But you're also sad, and especially for you know college graduation, now all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's world time. I can't just be a student anymore. I have to actually go be a productive adult, which is terrifying. And so you're happy about graduating, and, and you're also, and you're sad too. You're gonna miss your friends, and, and it's like, oh, we'll always be friends. Not always the case. You sort of lose contact. You don't see each other every day, so I'm sorry, it kinda sucks. So sad and happy go really well together. Um, so an example of two incompatible responses um, not related to aggression are anxious and calm. You cannot be calmly anxious. You cannot be anxiously calm. It just doesn't work. You cannot feel both of these things at the same time. One of them is going to win. And the goal of cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety is to have you learn calming responses to anxiety provoking situations. So when you're in a situation that typically makes you anxious, you might engage in some targeted uh, deep muscle relaxation where you tense and release all the muscles starting with your head all the way down to your feet. Um, and that, real, that physical tensing and releasing of the muscles then creates, um, the magic happens in the brain. <laughs> and then you have to talk to Dolise, it's not my thing. But then it, um, it, that will cause your anxiety to be reduced and you'll feel calm. And it works really well. My, one of my graduate advisors used to be terrified of riding in elevators. And so she went to a cognitive behavioral therapist who taught her this muscle relaxation progression. And when she, got in an, when she would get in an elevator, she'd go and she'd tense and release all the, the muscles in her body. And then she felt calm. And sometimes she would, be, she would have this moment of, oh, I'm scared to be in an elevator. She's like, wait, no, I'm not. I feel calm. And it really works. So that's an example of two emotional responses that are not compatible with each other. Now with aggression, there are three emotional responses that are not compatible with aggression. Sympathy, where you feel sad for someone, you feel bad for someone. Humor, where you're just absolutely cracking up and laughing, the real like deep belly laugh. And it's really hard to stay angry when you're cracking up like that or when you feel sad for someone. And then mild and underline mild sexual arousal. And so I'll leave it at that. Check out the lecture narrative and I might come back and talk about it a little bit more.